You recently purchased Acrobat X and you can't find a lot of the tools and a lot of the tasks that you were used to performing in Acrobat 9. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you where to find those tools and to perform those tasks uh, as if you were in Acrobat 9. So one of the new things you'll notice is that first of all we get this really nice start screen. Uh, just like in any other Adobe product from here you can create a new project or create a new PDF or you can open up any recent files that you've been working on. Uh, to create a new PDF, you click on one of these options. You can create a single PDF portfolio or even a page from uh, a website or just like any other program, go to File, Create and we have other options. Let's keep it simple here. Let's create a PDF by clicking on that button right there. So we'll go ahead and scan our computer for something to convert to a document. I have this nice TIFF here. I'll select open. And there you go. So we have this PDF now from that scan file. One of the things you will notice with Acrobat 10 is that the interface is a little bit different. Um, we have some of the navigation tools we had before, you know, going through some pages, zooming in, zooming out. Um, but a lot of the toolbars that we had before, like advanced editing, uh, comments, those are all gone. Um, in fact, if you need to find some of those tools, they've actually consolidated them over here to these nice little accordion panels. Now, they still kept some of the, the same features, same consistency, the same look from Acrobat 9. Um, and even some of the same panels. So for example, if you need to look for your pages or bookmarks, they're still on the left-hand side. They didn't change that. Uh, I guess they really liked it. Uh, so anyways, um, here, one of the first tasks we're going to cover is actually converting a scanned document into an actual legible document. Uh, what I mean by that is perform an OCR task, uh, optical character recognition. We want to be able to copy some of this text, paste it somewhere else, uh, or you make it accessible. So we want to go ahead and convert this image into text. Uh, again, if you look up on top and go, you know, where you could previously in Acrobat 9, you'll know, you'll see that's no longer there. Um, in fact, I don't have that OCR option anymore up here in the menu. In fact, even further than that, you'll notice that they simplify this menu system down to only five options. So, so where is it? Where can I find it? Um, like I said before, here in our tools accordion panel, here on the right, uh, we have a lot of our tools, a lot of our actions that we used to perform. Uh, here in the recognized text, I will see that here, uh, this will allow me to go ahead and perform that OCR task. They simplify this even further, <laughs> AA in this file. Uh, basically what this means is perform OCR, convert the, the image into text. Uh, so basically I'll just give this a click. It brings up that familiar window. Uh, I can edit these settings if I want to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to click OK. And then, again, we just let this work, and it's going to convert those images into legible text. There you go. So now, instead of an image, it's actually copy. In fact, uh, in Acrobat 10, I think it does a better job uh, than any other previous version. So again, if you need to do an OCR, it's in your tools panel under recognize text. All right. Uh, some of us were a little more advanced users and we actually modified the text, images, content within our page, within our PDFs, or even just applied comments. So I'm gonna open up another document. And again, a lot of those tools for modifying your PDF are found in your tools panel. So if I want to make some changes uh, either to the image or to the text itself uh, under your tools it's under content here are content editing tools. They've added a couple um, you don't remember the bookmark or the attached file in your advanced editing tools but here is the text edit, the object edit uh, and your link and button options. So if I want to modify this title just give this a click here, click inside my text, and there you go. Statements of work. Good. 
Now, if I want to modify a picture, um, I'll scroll down to that scary looking lady picture. And I'll grab my edit object tool. And I can select it. And I can move it if I need to. I'll do that. Or if I right click on it, I have some options. I can even swap it out with another image. Or I can go to uh, edit image, open this up in Photoshop, make some changes, save it, and do that round trip editing. So again, still the same process, just found in a different location. Now for some comments. Uh, if I want to comment this document, uh, in fact, it's not here in the tools palette, which you would think it would be. It's actually under comments. So from here, I can go ahead and add some annotations, um, do some text editing, you know, uh, maybe even some add some comment bubbles. So here, I'll just grab my sticky tool. Um, I'll just go ahead and go down here, click on this lady, and then say swap out with friend friendly picture. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So after I add my my notes and my markups and all the other good stuff, um, you can actually manage them before by going to the bottom left hand corner and actually selecting your comment list here. Uh, they've actually moved that over here to the right if you haven't noticed. Uh, so anytime you add a anytime you add a comment to your PDF, uh, they'll actually be uh, listed here within your comment list. Now, if I click away, scroll down a couple pages. Oh, where's this bubble located? Give it a click, it'll snap me to it, and there you go. Uh, one last thing uh, here on this document. Maybe I want to secure it. Uh, add some type of security, either for editing or for opening. Um, close up these tools. Go back to my tools panel, and under protection. Uh, here I have my protection options. So if you do some redaction, you know, get rid of some of your content, you got some redaction tools here. Um, but if you want to go ahead and secure this document, I can click on encrypt and encrypt with password. And here are my password security settings. So just like before, if I want to secure this document and require a password for opening or for editing, I uh, just click on the check mark and I can type the password and specify my options. Uh, what I really like and think is cool that they've added to Acrobat X is this password rating system. Uh, just like in some websites you go to when you create a new password, they give you a rating, whether it's weak, you know, good, or, or super strong. Uh, same thing here. If I type in password, you'll notice it's a weak password and it's going to go ahead and tell me, hey, change it up, right? So if I do capital A, Acrobat, still weak, capital X, medium, exclamation mark, that's really strong. So anyways, it, it's still the same process. Um, add a new feature, uh, again, to apply security. You can go to your protection, go to encrypt, and do password uh, encrypt. Uh, if you're used to going to the properties, I'll be happy to note that it's still there. Under File, you can go to Properties. And under Security, we can go ahead and apply Security, Password Security. Still the same, still uh, can access through your document properties. Okay, good. Uh, one last thing. Uh, if you were... If you ever notice the portfolio feature inside Acrobat 9, uh, they still have it here in Acrobat 10, but they've actually uh, made it uh, even better. Uh, so check this out. I'm going to close this document out. Don't save it. I'm going to create a PDF portfolio. And check this out. They have different layouts now that basically are a little more interactive. So we have this little click through, it's a little sliding through. Uh, free form. It's kind of like portfolio pick. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, portraits on an actual table, right? Got some of these cool little uh, folders that you can move around. Uh, grid system, linear, and then my favorite, the wave. The wave. 
And it just has these files kind of moving up and down diagonally and looks really nice. So anyways, you create one of these, lay these layouts, you click on finish, and you still have somewhat similar portfolio editing mode. Uh, it's slightly different. But it, uh, like I said, it looks 10 times better, a little more interactive than before. And to show you, it's going to add some files. I'm going to select all these here. Let it go through its process. Bam, here you go. So I can cycle through them by clicking this arrow. And look at that, isn't that cool? I don't know about you, but this gives me goosebumps. Uh, you can play flash files, you can render HTML files directly inside this portfolio, right? You have all these files nicely con grouped together in this nice portfolio package. Uh, one last thing, check out this free form. I thought this was kind of cool. You got these little tiles on a desktop, if you will. There we go. You can slide them around. That's cool. If you want to open up one, just double click on it. It has that really cool light box effect. You can open up this file as a separate PDF. You can cycle through them so you can see the other documents. Um, and then if you really like something, um, there's actually a download and some information that you can go ahead and access for this PDF or whatever other type of document it is. So anyways, yeah, they changed up a couple things here inside Acrobat X. Um, for the most part, I think they made it a little more simple. Uh, you can access your tools all from one panel. No more goofy toolbars all the way across your document, uh, across Acrobat. Uh, they have this really nice simplified uh, interface.